hi darlings welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video guys today we are blessed to have a pediatric nurse on this channel again today so without wasting much time help me welcome my guest for today who is mrs sarah mensah pediatric nurse for papa and sarah you are welcome to the channel thank you for having me thank you so today our pediatric nurse here is going to take us through what we call KMC and the KMC the full meaning is kangaroo mother care all right guys so stay glued to your seat as our pediatric nurse take us through what is it about its benefits and everything that you want to know about it okay so without wasting much time let's go straight into today's video so you are once again welcome to the channel and then thanks so much for treating this topic for my viewers okay so we would like to know when we talk about kmc or this kangaroo mother care what is kangaroo mother care once again thank you for having me um so as you have rightly said um, kmc is kangaroo mother care and when we talk of kangaroo mother care it started way back in 1979 with um, two doctors from Colombia, Bogota, um, which is um, Dr. Ray and Dr. Martinez. Um, as an alternative way um, to control the pressure in the neonatal intensive care unit, where incubators were shot, because uh, all the incubators which were to keep the babies warm were all full. So they sat down and came up with it that and when you look at kangaroo, kangaroo normally have um, a porch in front of them where their babies, their um, 10 babies who are small are kept in. So they sat down and came up with it. If um, the kangaroo can put their own babies close to them and provide warmth for them, so they think the mothers can also get closer to their babies in between their breasts where the babies are kept. Oh, okay. Yes. So. So kangaroo mother care is basically keeping the babies, which is the low birth weight, and um, babies who are born and their weight is below 2.5 kg. Um, so they get the babies closer to the mothers, put them in between the breasts, um, put a um, hot sheet on them for the babies to have the wound of their mother, which is um, way, way far better from the doctors what they realized that was way, way far better than the incubator. So now the baby is not kept far away from the mother, okay. but the baby is kept close to the mother, skin to skin. That is the essence of kangaroo mother care. Keeping the babies in between the mother's breasts covered for the baby to feel the warmth of the mother. Okay, so thanks so much for this explanation. So before we go to the benefits, um, a dad too wants to try. Is it possible for our daddies or our husbands to help us with this kangaroo care? So with kangaroo mother care, although the name signifies that it's mothers but we do say that anybody any relative who is ready to assist the mother in doing that is really welcome so a parents both parents it can be a father or a grandmother can avail themselves so the baby can be placed in between the breast of the dad oh, okay that is also fine. preferable because we always want two parents coming together it also keeps them bond the, the, the mother knows that the father is part of the growing up of the baby, which boosts their, also their, their morals for um, coming together with the parents and making KMC um, um, nice and really encouraging them to do that. And again, KMC is not only putting the babies in between, in between the mother's breast, but breast milk feeding, breast feeding is also added. So KMC is glued together with breast feeding. Okay. So, that is, so you can't only do KMC without feeding the baby properly. The breast KMC milk. comes together with breast feeding. Thanks so much for taking us through this kangaroo mother care. So you've made us understand that the like keeping the baby warm 
and then plus breastfeeding as well so in a situation where our mother is not okay or the breast milk is not coming what do we do um as we always say um breastfeeding is the best, the best yeah. you can't nothing can replace breast, breast milk. milk the natural way that god has prepared it but when there is a case where mother is not well and breast milk is not flowing, well, there are other alternatives that um, we give. So based on what we, the clinicians, see, we normally um, have a way of sorting the babies out. But we prefer breast milk. That is the ideal. This is that, that is that the is best. The ideal. It can um, be taken out. Okay. But when there is no way out of that, then we, we find definitely find a way out. So okay. we, the prescribers, tell what should be done. Okay. Um, Thanks so much. So to my viewers, please, if your baby is written and your breast milk is not coming or your baby's weight is below 2.5 as our pediatric nurse said, please don't go by your own way and go and get a formula by yourself. Consult your clinician before you go in for that. With the formulas, we have it in different types. We have for pretend. So please, if your breast milk is not coming, don't go to any shop and get a formula for your baby. Consult your clinician, okay? Please, so we will. So we will continue with um, the benefits or importance of this kangaroo mother care. Alright guys, so thanks so much for watching today's video till this time, okay? I hope you have learned something new. Kindly share, like, comment down below at the comment section. So in our next video, we talk about the benefits of this kangaroo mother care. So if you are new to the channel, kindly do subscribe, like, share, comment down below at the comment section. And see you again in the next video. And let's bye!